Hey, what's up, everybody? We are back with another episode of Toy News. There's so much new stuff this week, and here are some of the highlights that you know DK and I found particularly eye pleasing, pleasing to the eye for this week's episode of What I Miss. What I Miss. Huh. I said it faster so that, as usual, if there's anything you see, comment down below which ones you think are dope or if there's any figures that we may have missed this week. So to start off this week, we're going to talk about MAFX's Age of Apocalypse, Wolverine, and Cyclops. I'm an Age of Apocalypse fan, and so are you. Uh, you're the one that introduced me to Age of Apocalypse. And like we'll start off talking about this uh, Wolverine, right? Uh, this Weapon X includes... Three interchangeable faces and swap out claws. Uh, Cyclops includes two interchangeable portraits, uh, three interchangeable, interchangeable glasses, and different optic glass effects, and a few swap out hands. And let's take a look at this. Like, look at that. Like, I I really like that left arm claw and the little uh, uh, scary movie claw hand. Yeah, the, the little the Freddy Cooper thing going on. Um, no, the right? the butler. Remember the guy who was like. Take my oh, yeah. <laughs> what movie was that from? Was it scary movie? Scary That's movie? what I just said. All right, sorry, sorry. I thought I thought you meant in general it was a scary movie. Oh, the so. the genre of the film. Genre, yeah. Um, and I think like Deadpool Wolverine, they nailed it, like Hugh Jackman, like when they did it. But I don't think they actually had the scary little hand. It was just the the butt hand. Oh, um, there you go. Full. Look at that. Full claw. This is this is this is, this is dope. Um, and now we get slowly get into Cyclops, the Cyclops. Um, I don't remember Cyclops only having like one eye, but maybe that's, that's me from not remembering how long ago it was. Um, this is the effects for Cyclops. So yeah, everything is one eye. Uh, that effect, this, this effect is dope. Yeah. Like, like it's almost like a bullseye kind of. Yeah. Like, it looks very delicate glass. though. Like I'd be worried. Um, if I bought this, like, is that gonna is that gonna break? Is it gonna be fragile? Um, but if I were to display, it's either that one or the one on the left side of the screen, kind of like trailing off because that's like the, that's a really cool look. It's like smoking. It's like it's like he's like aggressive and angry, right? Um, this one's kind of dope. It looks a little bit short. The optic glass from this angle, like the other picture, looked like it was a lot lot longer. For it, it almost looks like uh. Arnold Schwarzenegger, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's the the mouth part. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's going down. Yeah, the, the, the way chin. it's looking downward. Yeah, a little it's like, bit. It's like I'll be back. Yeah, but vibes. it's it's a cool version of Cyclops. Um, but you know, I'm good with my Marvel Legends ones. The price that these come in at afterwards, uh, with shipping and conversion from yen. Um, uh, I again, there's very few Mafex figures that scream out to me that I have to get. Um. Because I, other than those effects, I don't think the figure overall is that crazy um, unique to me. So okay. these are cool. I do I do Fair. love Age of Apocalypse, though. All right, we're going to keep it with Marvel. This was just posted earlier today. And then before we started recording, um, they posted the full image of this SH figure. This is Peter B. Parker with a Mayday Parker uh, accessory from across the Spider-Verse. Uh, dude, soft goods robe on on a uh, Peter Parker. Uh, I think the Mayday accessory is awesome. It from this image, it doesn't look very articulated. I think like it's it's a cool accessory and it's a it's a good look for um the Spider Man in in the second movie because he kind of changes looks from the first film. But um, this along with the Spider Man India they announced a few weeks ago. I think you know this is this is an awesome addition to the SH Figure Arts line. Are you gonna get this? I think I might like this. This the the the, the pajama coat, like the really, <laughs> the, the, the the pajama coat. So we're talking about Magneto pajamas, and that's the only thing that's stuck in my head right now. So yeah, so yeah no, um, that like this, uh, the May Day, uh, looks like it's probably the same idea as the uh, exclusive uh, Goku, the SHF Goku with uh, young Gohan, right? Might not be posable, um, but it looks so. Like, where are you going to find a Mayday figure, right? Yeah, and Legends hasn't done this this particular look and combination of characters yet. So, you know, gonna probably going to grab this one for the Spider-Verse display. Yeah, look look, look at the details on Mayday's, um, the, her hat head, right? Her, it's like knitted. It's just called a hat. 
Well, it's it's yeah, it's a hat head. Sorry. Hat head. Hat. Yeah, it looks like a, a knitted. knitted it's yeah, it's a toque. Yeah, yeah, there's deep, there's like texture on it. That's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna talk about Joy Toy TMNT Bebop and Rocksteady figures. Um, the Bebop includes interchangeable hands, uh, guitar, a shield, manhole cover display, and part of a diorama set. Like this looks dope as heck, especially if you are into the Joy Toy TMNT um, that they recently announced, right? Like, I think, honestly, Kev, like, I think these look better than um, the turtle figures, in my opinion. And going over to, and this is the all the accessories and items you get from Bebop, and then Rocksteady. Rocksteady looks amazing too. He comes with interchangeable hands, a boombox, a knife, a gun, and a grenade necklace, a belt, a manhole cover display, and like you know, the part for the diorama. So they look dope, but one thing that I have a problem with this is that it, it feels like Rocksteady kind of got the short end of the stick where he only has one extra pair of hands. Like Bebop has so many so that you need to see one pair here and then bebop had let me find the picture look at that why so uneven <laughs> yeah but i mean like he's got hands for the guitar right um trigger fingers and yeah i mean what does rocksteady have for accessories it's um it's the, the... boom box and guns and 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 a knife which probably could be the same hands as yeah. long as you know what if he had dedicated punching fists I think that would have been cool too. So yeah, that is weird that um, they there's only two hands for that figure, but I don't know. Yeah, these these look so cool. Uh, I pre-ordered the turtles through E Collectibles, uh, and E Collectibles also has these two as well. Um, the turtles were Asia exclusives, and that's probably like a licensing thing because um, there's. You know, turtles' rights in the U.S. is already very different from turtles' rights in Canada. So these were originally only available in Asia, um, but you can get them from friend of the channel E Collectibles and save five percent off of your order with code Toying Around. But these are a four-inch scale line, and um, I love Joy Toy playing playing with their figures. They're fun because they're they're small, they're well painted. Uh, they have accessories. They're posable. Um, and I, what I love most about these is that they kind of have the same weapons as the original Playmates Turtles. Like there's yeah. the sh uh, sewer shield. Uh, the other one's a garbage can shield for these two mutants. So it's it's a cool kind of um, throwback to those toys. But the I mean the rocket firing Ghetto Blasta I think is a nice touch. Yeah, I I think the best part about the Ghetto Blaster is that. What do you call that? It's wasn't that like a drink canister as the missile? A thermos? Like the thermos. I think it used to be a thermos, but then they they I know in the the original one of the um not the original toy, the the mutant the the rock steady toy that transforms into like the human form, it had a gimmick like that where the thermos like attached to I think a lunchbox as a gun, right? So I think they're paying homage to it, but you know, look at this over. Maybe they put a lot of production costs into the boom box that transforms. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Maybe. But yeah, grab these. Yeah. Like they're they're beautifully painted. Accessories are are nice and the posability is a lot of fun. I like Joy Toy for that. Uh, a week and a half ago, Todd McFarlane launched the medieval spawn Kickstarter. Uh it was backed within like an hour of the Kickstarter launching and um hit over a million dollars, I think, within 24 hours. I think it's the fa second fastest grossing toy Kickstarter, uh, the first one being the first Spawn Kickstarter. Um, if you want to hear more about the project, I did an interview with Todd McFarlane here on the channel. And uh, make sure you watch that because that was a really cool opportunity and he gives a lot of uh, more behind-the-scenes stuff of, of some of the decisions for this project. But, I mean, it's hit... 1.6 million with 20 days to go. That's insane. Uh, there's a black um, kind of mask version, a blue version, and an all gray artist proof. And there were tiers like 
you know, you can get a one signature with a figure or a three pack with a signature for each figure. And those sold out um, really fast. That was 300 bucks for the triple signature one. And, you know, when I had the interview, there wasn't a clear lineup of what kind of unlocks there were, if any. Um, it was just like, hey, there's a whole bunch of stuff and you're going to get this for free. But it wasn't like, hey, at X amount of dollars, you get this and you get this. Uh, only recently, they kind of updated free bonus and then a whole bunch of these um, accessories. But yeah, it, it, it was just it was just cool to be able to chat with somebody who's been making toys um, for so long and somebody who's such a legendary uh, comic book, pop culture um, kind of persona icon the guy the todd father himself exactly right so yeah th i mean this thing's already funded they have already started production for a certain number of units so that their goal is to have these out to everybody within like two months of this ending um so they're getting a head start on production they just don't have the final numbers of how many to make i'm excited for this um originally i wasn't gonna back it but i think i still have 20 days to go no, all right. I still have 20 days to go. And I'm like, all right, this is growing on me. Buddy of mine's trying to convince me to get it. I think a lot of people are trying to convince me to get it. And lately I've been collecting a lot of spawn. Yeah, you so, have. Oh, yeah. This is. Oh, this... Maybe I don't want to miss out on this one. Yeah, I mean, you know, so far every backer will receive all of this stuff. These are all bonuses because There's so many accessories. Yeah, man. And like, look at if you zoom in on these details, like it's very very intricate yeah. the amount of um the amount of sculpting that's in this so it, it's really cool so we have 20 more days to go to back the original medieval spawn action figure remastered 24 edition so if you haven't backed it go back it because i think i'm gonna back it now okay so my last pick of news is the sh figure arts monkey d luffy romance dom gum gum auction parts set so i know we talked about this last week but this is some update to it so um this is the one that comes um with this is these are some pictures that shows with the romance dawn figure and then what i was more interested about was like how is it gonna go with the newer figure that we have right and it's just a leg so it does fit on this luffy buck um yeah the arms don't work for this specific figure right but you know it is the romance dawn figure you know perfectly set up for it right so um the pre-orders open up september 3rd yeah so the long arms just work for the romance dawn figure and look at this like headpiece that it comes with it looks amazing um this is a gum gum no pistol and here are more of the pictures of you know the the gatling gun um effect of the the pistol pistol punch effect and these are all the accessories that come with it and i think this is more important most important for me is that extra straw hat so and again pre-order september 3rd Ooh, i don't know if you saw these but the pre-order just uh went up today that's thursday the 30th but you can pre-order these now this is the marvel legends two pack of the infinity war outriders um i think i think this is pretty awesome right because it's got like the the upper torso there with the arms the articulations really kind of kind of unique i want i would like to see how these work out uh but this is a two pack it's up on pulse it should be up on like amazon i think it's on amazon canada also it's 60 us 80 canadian which i think or maybe it was 90 canadian but it's pretty on par they have different head sculpts and um some like really cool articulation on the ankles it's like they have the high heel look oh uh, okay. so like the the ankle articulation is down here and then the heel is all the way up so i think it's pretty unique it's just like you know how many years has it been since infinity war like yeah you know these are probably missing in your display I'm. I think there. There's gonna be like a pretty good amount of people who want to buy this for their, you know, army um, building for their army building for their for their MCU collection. Like, you know, do do you feel like the timing is a little bit off? The timing is off, but um, I can see that you know, like Hasbro's doing a really good job at trying to 
go back and recapture, you know, certain designs that, you know, they couldn't do. Right. So, um, I'm just happy that they're making toys, um, you know, for the older movies overall. Right. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's cool. Like somebody's going to be like, Hey man, I want these. Like maybe I don't, it's just for me, the, for me, the MCU stuff has always been like, uh, out of sight, out of mind. You know, when there wasn't a new movie out, I was just like, okay, I'm going to rotate out the display. But I think these look pretty unique. The two pack is a great idea. So there's the alternate head that it comes with. And, you know, it's a really cool box art if you want to get some Outriders for your MCU display available to ship on approximately November 1st, 2024. We're switching gears a little bit, but this did show up. Wow. Um, Recently, friend of the show and fellow enabler Kyle worked on this. This is the Super 7 Power Rangers Ultimate Lord Dracon, uh, based on the character that came out of Boom Comics. But hey, like Lord Lord Dracon is like w one of the coolest recent Power Ranger things. Well, recent like in the last few years. Uh, but it comes with his his main uh gold helmet, two tommy portraits like a resting one and a more evil one with the head flowing and uh at first i was like why is it just a red ranger helmet but this is like a cracked ah tyrannosaurus red ranger helmet um it's cool to see more uh super seven ultimates power rangers i think their bulk and skull should be coming out soon uh, they were on display at San Diego, but it's cool to see that they're like able to make this kind of comic Power Ranger, especially because you know Hasbro Lightning Collection is gone. Uh, wh where are we getting Power Rangers other than the Playmates? Playmates who has a license but isn't hasn't shown anything yet. But yeah, again, this is from their Ultimates. It's a seven-inch scale line, and um, you know this will this will display well with your uh rita repulsa and and some of your other power rangers figures but hey it's great to see the super seven ultimates line continue with these power rangers figures and also uh on the topic of super seven they've shown a lot lately of um some of their seven inch ultimates figures repackaged with like a blister card and like fewer accessories and head sculpts and i think it's a 35 dollar price point which is actually really good so you can get you can get biggie uh, i think you can get odb some of the other characters um instead of like not this ultimates where it's packed out with all the accessories just like a smaller retail i think it's like a more retail version but that's cool to see so at san diego comic-con jazzwares announced their total anime line which is a 1 12th scale uh highly articulated line of anime figures that you can see on the video here i did a review of their convention exclusive aaron yeager from attack on titan uh their wave one is up for pre-order on amazon and should be shipping at the end of the month so they have yuji itadori from jjk who's actually started shipping now i've pre-ordered anya from spy family aaron is up there and i believe um and the guy from my hero academia is up for pre-order too those are supposed to ship on the 31st um but people have been you know showing me that these are showing up at game stops in the u.s as well so uh if you're interested in these go check them out they're 19.99 at retail um, from what I was told at Comic-Con, that's the initial launch price. And then when they start to hit Target and Walmart, it's supposed to be $17. So um, this is this is an awesome line. Go watch this review to see if you would be interested in these figures. This dude is cool. I don't know. Like This is the SH Figure Arts Yuto Horigome. It's an Olympic gold medalist for street skateboarding. Uh, dude, I don't I don't know this dude. I don't follow Olympic skateboarding, but this figure looks cool as hell. Uh, I want to grab it because it's like he, he just looks like a regular ass dude. You can add him in the background of, of some photos, right? You can make a custom of a friend, <laughs> but like and you can just keep swapping skateboards and, and just really kind of switch it up. This is a cool kind of simple, not overly complicated figure, right? It's not like a crazy man manga looking dude. It's just like everyday street dude I, I i think i want it just for the body and then swap out heads right you can put like tony stark there or like you know the toby mcguire like he head onto it or just get custom heads of you know ourselves so i'm I, i'm actually looking forward to this figure 
Yeah, I mean, like, what else do you really need? You, you have the deck, you have extra hands. I mean, that even seems like a lot of hands versus Rocksteady, but also uh, <laughs> the stairs and the railing that you can take photos of him, you know, doing tricks. Is it called tricks? Yes, I believe they are called tricks. You know, what else could you ask for? This is a cool release. Just need to uh, do a Tony Hawk and collect the letters skate like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. That would be amazing. I, I want to see that one day. That's the you know awesome releases and pre-orders that we saw for this week. Again, don't hesitate to comment down below what we missed or something that you think should have been on here. Of course, this video goes out early to members on Patreon ad-free. Don't forget to check it out there. We have a giveaway going on as well as watch-alongs every other weekend and, of course, behind-the-scenes and exclusive video so check out patreon.com slash toying around i want to thank these wonderful patrons for your support it makes videos like this and vlogs and everything else uh possible on the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the video and we'll see you next week peace